solving quadratic equations by finding square roots. Well, we already know how to find the square of a number. And, and the way we find a square, well, if, if you want to find three, three squared, that's just going to be three times three, which is nine. So three squared is nine. And, and that's finding the square of a number. Finding the square root of a number is, is actually doing the opposite. Finding what number times itself gives you the number that you, that you want to find the square root of. Now, now, it's not quite going exactly the opposite because you have a positive square root, but you'll also get a negative square root. And what I mean by, by that is if I want to find the square root of 9, and, and the way you write square root of 9 is you write what this is called a radical. So the radical symbol and the number underneath the radical is called the radicand. So it's the radical symbol, and then the radicand is, is the number that goes underneath it. So that, that's the radicand. But back to this problem, if you want to find the square root of 9, that means you, you want to find the number that times itself equals 9, which, which 3 times 3 equals 9, but also negative 3 times negative 3 equals 9. So, so both 3 and negative 3, 3 and negative 3 are square roots of 9. Are square roots of 9. Now the 3 is going to be your positive square root. So square root of a number could be square root of 9. The positive square root would be 3. The negative square root would be negative 3. Because 3 times 3 is 9, and then negative 3 times negative 3 is 9. So any square root is going to have a, a positive square root and a negative square root. The only exception to this would be the square root of 0. Because the square root of 0 is just going to be 0. It doesn't matter if it's positive or negative. Zero can't be positive, and it can't be negative. And then one other exception, well, a number of exceptions, is you can't take the square root of a negative number. So, for example, the square root of negative 4 would have no solution. There's no, there's no, no real square root. That that would actually be imaginary and and we'll get that get into that in another lesson. But that's basic the basic idea of what a square root is. Um, one more example could be could be the square root of 4. The square root of 4. And that could equal either 2 times 2. So it'd be the square root of 2 times 2 or negative 2 times negative 2. So 4 is the same thing as 2 times 2, or negative 2 times negative 2. So the square root of 4, the square root of 4, would equal 2 or negative 2. Because 2 squared equals 4, and negative 2 squared also equals 4. In the next video, we'll explore a little bit more with, with square roots, and then we'll get into actually solving quadratic equations by finding square roots.